Welcome to the next episode of Kicking Through the Summer and learning how to be a professional kicker by the end of the summer. If you are new to this, this is the third episode going over round kicks in this video. If you want to go over front kicks and side kicks, definitely check out the previous episodes. It also does a cool, um, some jumping kicks and things like that. But today we're going over round kicks. So sit back, relax, or go outside to practice because we're going to get started. Now today, uh, we might be going a little bit faster because I'm on a time crunch today specifically, but I need to get this video done because I've been procrastinating like, like, I don't know what else, but I've been procrastinating. So we need to get this video done. We're gonna get this done for you guys. And we're gonna go over a round kick. One of the things about a round kick is that it goes around. It's really important that you understand when it goes around, it's not coming straight out at a target. It's hitting the side of your target, if that makes sense. So in order to do that, I have socks on. Don't hate me. I don't care. I, I'm cold. It's rainy. I'm going to wear socks. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our same guard stance that we've been using in the previous uh, episodes. And we're going to take our front foot and turn it sideways, pointing our t front toes to the outside. We're gonna take our back leg, point our knee at our target, and we're gonna turn it sideways like we're setting it on a table in front of us. So one more time, I'll, go, I'll do it facing like the corner for you guys, turning your foot sideways, picking your knee up, and turning your entire foot sideways. Once you have your foot sideways, you point your knee at your target, extend, hitting with the front of the, or the top of the foot or your shin, pulling it back, and setting it down just like that. <clears throat> From this angle, for, so you guys see a little bit differently, rotate, point the knee, extend, pull back, and set it down. <clears throat> you can either set it down in front or behind, it doesn't really matter, but all together, your round kick should look something like that. And again, you can kick at any level. You can kick knees, you can kick heads, you can kick above the head. That just depends on your flexibility. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you stretch. And if you want me to do a video about a way you can stretch like a martial artist, let me know. I can definitely do that video. <laughs> um, and I might do it anyway. But let me know if that's interesting to you. Regardless, we're gonna get back into our round kick because I don't want us to just be able to do a round kick. I want us to be able to do a jump round kick and a skipping round kick. So for our jump round kick, <clears throat> All we're going to do is our kicking legs still in the back. We're still in that same guard stance, but you're going to jump off of both feet and you're going to rotate 180 degrees, just like that. So if I start facing this direction, I jump and I land. Once I land, I'm going to take the foot that's now in the front, point the knee at the target and kick out. This is breaking it down step by step. So again, facing you guys, 180, point the front foot and kick out. Ideally, when you do this, you will kick before or as you land, just like so, just like that. And again, um, you can kick at any level, but the, 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 the energy you want, the motion you want is to jump, turn, land, kick, right? It's all one after the other. So that all the way through, it can look like that and spinning through, uh, driving in afterwards, that's all a possibility. Now, the last one we're going to do today, like I said, we're going pretty fast. I'm sorry, um, I'll be more, I don't know, delayed in the next one. You, you'll see, it'll be good. <laughs> but we're gonna do our skipping round kick. And for this one, we're actually gonna put our kicking leg in the front instead of the back. So our kicking leg in the front. For this one, we're gonna travel a little bit forward when you do that, and so in order to travel, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take our non-kicking leg in the back, lift our knee up, jump forward and switch, just like we're skipping almost. <clears throat> Again, one more time, taking that back leg, lifting the knee up, jumping forward and switching, just like so. As we jump forward to switch, we're gonna turn our leg sideways and fire our round kick, just like so. So one more time. Back leg, knee up, jump forward, switch, sideways, round kick. And that breaks it down one step at a time. All the way through, you'll look at, bang, just like that. Ha, bah. 
and excuse the height of my kicks. My hips have been uh, injured recently, so I gotta take it a little bit easier on certain types of kicks. But if you practice this and if you work on your flexibility, you'll be able to kick head high in no time. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I enjoy doing these videos. And if you wanna see all of the kicking videos ahead of time, I'm pretty sure they are all released right now for members only. So if you wanna pay like two or three dollars, you can get access to every video ahead of time, ready for you right now. Or you can wait throughout the summer and work one week at a time to unlock your kicking potential. Either way, I'll see you on the next one because my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. Baby, perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper, as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career, be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...